and I know what a healthy child is supposed to look like. I'm looking at kids as I walk through the airports today, as I walk down the street, and I see these kids that are just overburdened with mitochondrial challenges. If we're going to talk about kids with mitochondrial challenges, why don't we start with the kids who have clinically confirmed genetic cases of mitochondrial disease. Specifically, let's talk about the ones who have the variant known as Barth syndrome because there is a medication to treat this life-shortening disease that is currently not going to be available very soon. And it's actually all due to RFK's FDA. When I say it's not going to be available very soon, Families right now have a supply that will not be able to be refilled come whenever that medication runs out. At first there was something in manufacturing that had to be fixed, which I totally understand. But ever since then, there's been this moving of the finish line without actionable comments. And worst of all, the latest is that an entire part of the process has to be redone, which really extends when this drug would be available to patients again. And it's not a coincidence that the FDA is currently in disarray. It's not just me saying it. An unnamed source directly ties the dysfunction in the FDA to the delays with this medication. This is an ultra rare disease which does need to be treated differently. They're not going to have a whole set of robust data from thousands of patients. That's just not how ultra diseases work. So it does need to be treated with special considerations, not just moving the finish line because things are disorganized or who knows what else is going on in the FDA. If RFK is really concerned about kids with mitochondrial challenges, I think this is a perfect place to start. If you agree, I'll put some action items in the description where you can contact your Congress rep and reach out to people at the FDA and anyone else that you have contacts with and share this if you think you know anyone that could make a difference in this case. I'll also link to some organizations that are doing a lot of work on this so that way you can follow along if hopefully any progress is made because I think it just goes against everything the United States is supposed to stand for when there's a medication available that can treat a fatal disease in children that will not be able to be used. I think it's wrong so if you agree please reach out to your reps.